they're gonna have up there eventually. Look at the uh, damage from the um, squirrels. Yeah, they have destroyed that. Good morning, welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster Channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. Our cutouts are a way of life. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Look, we're just looking at some squirrel and rot damage. This is gonna make a nice opportunity, but we gotta move bees out from this overhang down here and it looks like a big hive. But I want to take the opportunity this morning to do a quick member requested video on the business of cutouts. And there's so much to the business of cutouts. They didn't really specify, but I have to pick a topic. So today we're going to talk about infrared cameras. And I'm going to show you the two I've got with me, as well as talk about the first one that I ever had. So the two that I have with me are the Vivor SC240M. That's this this one <laughs> another hand is sc240m vivor which is pretty good but power it up and show how long it takes to boot up here it takes so a little bit pete's powering it up right now and then in my hand i have the FLIR c5 both of these are standalone units meaning they don't plug in anything they don't bluetooth anything the first infrared camera that i ever had though was the FLIR uh, FLIR one for iOS and iOS just means for iPhone and they have them for Androids too. It's still an issue. <clears throat> the FLIR is already up. Here we go. Ready. Both of these are pretty good cameras. The uh, Vivor has a wider angle of view than the than the FLIR. But the FLIR is a little more accurate. The Vivor is a little more sensitive. The FLIR is a little more accurate. Right here where this hot spot is, is where we're taking the bees out of. So we're gonna go in from this soffit here. On these FLIRs, there's a, there's a little bit of a learning curve to them. You have to understand the heat rises. So this heat signature we're seeing from the bottom here, the only reason that it is so good is because this cavity is full. It's gonna be a big hive and it's gonna have comb all the way. Yep. Yeah, look at the resolution in that image and the resolution in this image. They will both do the job. That's about a $300, $350 unit. This one's $600 or so, but I got it used on, or I got it on eBay. I think it was new, but I got it on eBay for $460 or something after shipping. The, <clears throat> the one I started out with, though. You got a second hot spot. You got this one here. You got one where the sun's hitting it so that's one of the things you got to keep in mind there is a learning curve when it comes to infrared cameras anything the sun is hitting it's is so going to is gonna show a heat signature so it's right there by it and it, it will give you a false reading because it's you can see the sun's it's hitting very it. little sun <clears throat> but heat rises one of the things you got to know when you're using these is heat rises so if I went upstairs which I did uh, days or weeks ago in this upstairs apartment looked at the floor and there's a much more definite heat signature from the top <clears throat> than there is from the bottom this is literally detecting the heat of the bee itself so the FLIR 1 that I started out with I had been looking at infrared cameras for a while and didn't really want to go expensive because I didn't know how useful they were going to be to me well they've turned out to be invaluable in this business but I started out with the FLIR one because my brother called me and said hey I've got a way to uh, get your camera paid for if you want to go ahead and buy one somebody had had a water line bust in the floor and plumbers were trying to locate it and couldn't locate it and they had borrowed a FLIR from a fire department $12,000 FLIR and it wouldn't locate and I don't know why it wouldn't locate maybe they weren't running the water long enough for the slab to heat up because it was beneath a three and a half inch concrete slab well I got online and overnighted a FLIR 1. I had no iPhone 5 or iPhone 6 at the time so I got it ran up there with my little iPhone 5 and they had the water running for a little while and I pretty quickly located it with that FLIR and that the whole plumbing crew everybody there was like man where'd you get that we got to get one of those it was pretty amazing to all of us and I, <clears throat> I was like shoot man I got to try this on hives well, it located hives it located termite carton all kind of stuff but it's only they still do make those the one that I had 
I had to upgrade because it was a lightning port and when I upgraded my cell phone to the USB-C I upgraded to that unit right there and then uh, passed it on passed the old one on to my brother he still uses it <laughs> yeah. I still have a lightning port I didn't think about that so I passed it on to my brother he still uses it when he goes out and does inspections somebody calls him he'll go out and look at it for me but uh, they still do make that unit and it's it's a good unit but I want it to be more professional looking when I got this one this one looks more like an industry standard professional piece of equipment so when you show up on a job you're not pulling a thing out of your pocket and plugging it into your cell phone <laughs> which works fine also I did that for many many years and nope. nobody <laughs> nobody ever said anything about it that it didn't look professional or whatever they're just like what are you are you looking at this with your cell phone I'm like yeah kind of that's a little short thing on infrareds they're in, in this business they're invaluable for helping you look and once you learn how to use them whenever you whenever your FLIR tells you where they are that's where they are you can go poking around drilling probing digging other places but in the end you're going to go back to wherever the heat signature was even though you, you're like man there's just no way but yeah there's a way This one came direct from Vivor because Mr. Ed had some kind of a special code. What happened over here? Somebody ran out of their shoes trying to get away from the bees? I didn't figure that one out. It's going to be a kind of a warm day. It's 9 o'clock in the morning right now. We're getting a bit of a late start, but it's still not bad out here. Hey, stay right there for a minute. So if you're wondering how far these things will read, they will read a long ways. You can hunt with them. They'll locate deer, coons, whatever. And people, I guess, if you're doing search and rescue, they're probably good for that too. It's about half what I expected though. Really? Yeah. Do you think there's any going up the wall? No, I think this is it. It's closed off. It can't go up the wall. Okay. What's funny on this one is upstairs there is a dog bed that lays exactly in this spot, but the dog refuses to sleep there. Ever since this hive has gotten kind of big, the dog, there's a corner over here the dog sleeps in. We'll not sleep in this bed above this hive. I agree. Let's keep it holding. Let's go ahead and kind of trail to the back again. again. see a bunch between the cones. Not as much as you think. <laughs> I was thinking to go up something, but I was like, yeah. that came to mind. That looks just like what they use in the elevator. They grab them by the back of the leg and by the back of the head. And, and they, they can go up. You just don't trust that board, do you? I don't. I'm trying not to fall through. Well, your leg would hit the ground before you really hurt anything on your leg, but oh. nice, right on your shirt. <laughs> There's a 
fair amount of brood in here. Yeah, there's brood there. It's not a lot of honey. <laughs> ah, there's a thing in the crap out of me. That's only what's left of me. That's a good pattern. It's a good lady, please. Oh. Well, no wonder this thing, you're, you're dropping it out in your hand. <laughs> good catch, but bad move. <laughs> Why did you cut our straight across and then you caught it on its way out? Yeah, you're gonna piss them off. See so if I can break it down a little easier this time. Uh, there's all the bees up in there. I need this bee to walk off the back of my neck before I lift back up again. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you don't want to crush it with the hat. Something flew off when you did that. There's another one walking around back, back of my neck over here. I was sitting here with a cigarette on the leg and she just went in between my hands and stung me in the leg. <laughs> I mean, I barely felt it because she had to go through heavy denim. This is not thin denim I'm wearing. Ugh. Nine o'clock at night, ambient temperature is about 77 degrees. I figure we'll walk out here and see what this C5 does in the dark. Some of those trees still holding heat. There's a hive. There's a, this hot spot here is that cutout bucket that has bees in it that I'm about to rehome. So that's from about 40 feet. And I found the cat. This is at about 15 feet. Back up. Go all the way back to the little carport. There she is, a pretty clear image at about 150 feet. Right center screen, almost. That was all I needed. I just needed. Huh? Yeah, I can see you. I don't have any control of where the cat goes or how to use him. Yeah. Cool nights are nice. It's his artistic creation. I'm videoing all these birds up there.
Thank you so much to all of my members for your incredible support. Everyone who sent super wow. chats, anything like that. Thank you all so much. And one last time to touch on the infrared camera issue. You do not have to have one to be successful in the cutout business. They're a luxury, but they really make it nice. It's easy, it's fast. And uh, I was successful without one for a decade and you can be too. But if you, if you get an infrared camera, you'll never want to be without one again. So I hope this video was really helpful to somebody and I hope you enjoyed it. And I appreciate you all so much. Have a good night. I just want to get the ones off the board here so when I yank it, I'm not dumping bees on you. Go, you go ahead and dump bees on me. Okay. I don't like them. Why would you like it? I would do it to you. <laughs> you would. <laughs> <laughs>